So today we are going to learn how to trim the brow like you know marking out the brow is a very a high requested video that i had to do today especially for my beginner so this is going to be a beginner friendly tutorial so as you can see guys my natural brows these are my natural brows and you can see they are fully grown so i will just start with a uh, Either you can use a tweezer to do this, but now I am going with this an edge blade and trying because it's really good. It worked perfectly for me. So and make sure you are stretching the skin like this and do the same thing to the other. My area. So making sure you are stretching it to get a very straight shape before we even go on with the drawing. So the same thing I will be doing here as well. So I think it goes for a natural brow look so that the, on the days I am not putting on any eye shape cream, then I still have my natural brow. So this is how it is from the start and you definitely need these tools. You need uh, for my type of uh, brow shaping, I always go with the last long and uh, materials that's um i always have my 24 hour brow gel i don't use pencils because i feel like when uh pencils uh, makes you feel awkward someone some you feel not so secure so because of that when people touch here you see what i mean it goes off so i always go with a permanent one so this is a brow gel it goes under water washing soaps so when you wash it with soaps, it definitely go by. You are so secure during the day, the whole day when it rains, you've got nothing to complain about. So that's us from Essence. Essence Brow Gel in color, uh, brown. So this one is also the Essence uh, Liner. It's also a permanent liner in color brown. And I got this also. I normally use this. For those with thick eye, thicker eyebrows and thicker eye uh, fibers like myself, this black also, I combine it. So I'm going to show you guys how I normally do it. So um, these are the tools or you can perfectly go with your brow. It works perfectly good. But for my preference, I always use these ones because, you know, the comfort of you, like, you know, staying under waterproof and all those stuff you understand so um, for the next step apart from the tools you also need um, a brush like this to that's his brow brush like this to also brush the fibers of the brow and uh, for the other um ones you'll be needing apart from the two you definitely need also this materials which are your concealers either um the pro um concealer la pro concealer this is my all favorite ateco and also this is also in brown for the upper line upper a uh, drawing and uh definition and also this is also, uh, from mac mac studio so that's the prolonged concealer so any um color choice i i show different color choices because there are times people use lighter color choices for darker uh, shades uh tone so you definitely need to go for the appropriate color tone so the other thing you will need is also uh 
certain powder or powders loose powders this are uh, for dark uh, complexion and this are also for medium to lighter skin shape so certain powders like this we have it in different uh, tones guys the next uh, things that you'll be needing is uh, a brush you need to you need to get yourself a, a brow pencil but i normally go the straight way of using the concealer um a brush from the la uh, pro uh, concealer it works really good for me so i don't uh personally waste money on brow pencils but uh for the beginner friendly type you might need this one this uh pencil is precise this is the precise pencil you will need for drawing to uh, or shaping or yeah refining the uh, line liner eyebrow when you really want to get it into shape with a concealer so you definitely need this type for shaping it and also um you need a blending um, brush so it depends when you want to extend it maybe to the lead you might need a uh, a concealer brush like this to really bring it down to match the brow uh, uh the eyelid so these are all this type are also preferable because they also go in the arc form especially here in the corner of the brow when you have curvy that is only when you have curvy brows like mine there are people their brow shape ends here then you don't need it people depending on the eye shape you want to create so um i will go on with um powdering you can see i've moisturized my face because i always want to stay very dew moisturized so you can't moisturize your face anymore these are some of my top secrets why i always have glowy natural skin so always moisturize because the face is moisturized and as well moisturize the brow because it's also part of my face it looks um little oily and it might interrupt uh, the brow gel because it also contains oil and oil and oil you understand wouldn't really work well so um, i might uh, because i'm a medium type of skin be in between medium and dark uh, brown yeah chocolate brown yeah so i might uh, use this but for really dark skin tone you might need to use a darker powder or concealer powder so uh, trying to brush in so that uh it gets matte that's just the whole essence of me using the powder on it so when you are learning it on my channel as a beginner this is the steps that you definitely have to so you can see now it looks more matte here then we are now going on straight away by uh shaping uh brushing through so you can brush through it with uh, these types of uh brow brushes they are in different ranges there are times uh you can also brush through with the essence the essence i love the essence bra because it just has the straight way of you brushing through it like this and at the same time it is also pigmenting the fibers so i really love just going straight away but not to get things complicated for my beginner learners <laughs> so those learning it because it's a high requested video and i really want to be precise and very steppy with all what i'm doing one step onto the other so this is going to be a very intense long uh, tutorials like a natural tutorials without editing that's what i'm going to do so um we will start using the essence eye uh, liner print like substituting it for the brow pencil because this is a waterproof so i start getting it out it's not easy so i really start that's how let me show you guys that's how the color is so it's not a dark uh, color then you start right here at the point you see where the line of your nose and this point in between the arc of your tear dot that's where you start drawing it so you draw it like this 
to exactly where this point is then the upper eye will also do like this don't worry when maybe you are nervous or anything as a beginner because it's not easy so first this is what i normally do i draw the brow uh, with the normal brow then i use i switch this into the liner with the dark brown it's just trendy like this you can go at trendy just like this and just end there but because i have naturally i just want to go with my natural uh, eye shape and uh, ends here here definitely here i don't like long ones i wouldn't even make it so long i will be trimming it so uh, and try so guys i will still be powdering upper here the upper brow needs a little bit powdering because it's oily this is a little bit oily because at uh, the upper side i will be using a different um concealer this is a depth uh, full coverage concealer that i will be using and i don't want to really get it interrupted with more oil because it's also an oil based uh, concealer from Ateco. so that is what i will be using for my upper line so um we are going precisely with it like this and uh, getting to the point where we really need to shape it So where the act is like this and uh, try to get into this point. So guys, um, the hazel is that let's just yes. It's just automatically give me an option to make it more um Tiny. so i'll be doing the same thing to the left uh, brow okay because uh, i didn't want to really go back off. so uh for my beginner friendly um viewers here watching this tutorial um i automatically displays the lower brow video so you just pardon me but um it's the same procedure as with the upper brow um uh shaping so it's the same brow um brushed i use and with the same procedure so easy so don't get a a little uh, frustrated when you didn't see me doing it yes it's some of the hustle sometimes it does appear but still wanted to upload the video because it had been a high requested video Hopefully, we will watch more of such tutorials right on this channel. Don't get um, frustrated. It's the same tito, okay? I do have another uh, brow tutorial for beginner friendly also right on this channel. Check out on the other videos so you can also see uh, more of such videos. I will be uploading more. Trust you me. Let's go on if i have to balance it because this one you can see looks a little bit um bigger than this uh right brow so i'll just be maybe shaping the under brow i find an under brow and also a little bit here For it to look more precise, I'm trying to. Yes, now I think it looks a little bit precise. Trying to make sure everything looks well um, drawn and for it to be more matchable. So 
we are done the only last thing i will be doing is to use the same um what is the brush here using the same yes here to brush us well and brush it also here because of the harsh edges all have to look really natural so always remember to brush out and in Then now with the same blending uh, brush, we're going to now make it look more neat. So you get a... So guys, we are almost there. We'll be polishing it up with um, a dark concealer. That will be our finishing... So this is a nude by nature uh, powder I am using for the brow that's it for the brow tutorial the tuto i will be brow tutorial is now to end but what we'll be doing is just this side we'll be brushing it out again with a soft uh, powder for it to look more natural and more lighter then you see a empty spill like this So that's it. We'll be brushing it a little bit. So that's the last step for us to still see our micro uh, fibers in it for it to look more um colorful so guys one trick that i want to show you when you want to have more highlighter under the brow you take a little of the concealer and try to do this way For you to feel like oh it's really popping under your shadow your eyeshadow or your daytime makeup you just start from this point and try to reapply the concealer it's my tip that i'm trying to give to all my beginner friendly uh, brow creators so that you'll be creating the brow as a beginner but people will just look and say wow it looks so professional because uh, there are some pro fees who wouldn't tell you some of these uh, secrets here yeah? so it's just a little the concealer under for it to pop just under the eye not on top then you will use your blending uh, brush to blend it a little bit like this like tapping it just a little bit like tapping it you see the difference then it makes it more pop out so you see it makes the 
brow puff more out and really feels uh, more like a profi, the profi type of um, brow. So these are some of the tips that I will be giving here at Creation Life Daily. And no one else does that. <laughs> so guys, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. So just give a thumb up for this uh, lovely tutorial and also do well to give your comments and uh, tell me more requests. Whenever you need more requests, tell me I'm right here for you guys. Hope you enjoyed today's tutorial on the brow. Just see how the brow is popping, popping, popping. And you wouldn't have any doubt about what I just said. So with the permanent brow, just see, it doesn't go off. Play around with it and just see when you are using this Essence uh, permanent uh, brow, it wouldn't be like, ah, I'm just trying to play around it so that you uh, ladies and gents will just believe in what I'm saying. So it's a permanent brow. That's why I use it. Unlike the uh, eye uh, liner, the brow eyeliner, if it would have gone off, it would have been messed out. But uh, this one still keeps the brow on flake. The whole 24, when you are itchy, like when you are itchy, you just try to play around with it nothing it just stays as it is don't you love this yes this offer is just amazing so with the brow gel permanent brow gel permanent ink and uh, that goes for the whole day for your special occasion for your normal uh, photo shooting for your normal out and normal daytime makeup just make sure you are going with the right tools then you will be just really really happy your whole day yes just see do you subscribe to this channel and just give a thumb up for this lovely give a thumb up we going on love you catch you another time still on creation life for god bless you job bless i'm out peace